I've never used it really for trophy size fish, but when I'm after some eaters, I, you know, want, want some supper, this is what I'll throw. And it's designed to mimic a wounded shad, and fish just kill it. Now, most folks think catfish feed mainly on the bottom, and they do to an extent. But what do you do when you fish the Carolina rig or a slip rig on the bottom for a couple hours and don't get any bites? You change up. Nice eater fish, that's what we come here for today. We're doing a little springtime fishing up here at uh, one of the dams with a blade bait. The blade actually puts a little vibration in the, around the bait. If they don't smell it, they'll, they'll see it or feel the vibration. This will sit in the water, it'll run in the water, pretty much like so. So when the cats are generally not on the bottom, you can't catch them on the bottom, they may be feeding in the column a little bit, and this is a good rig for that. Now I want to show you how I rig it. I want to fillet a little bit of this skipjack up. Just a small piece of skipjack filleted. And we'll stick it right through the tip right through the tip. Make sure there ain't no scales on the other end of it. And once it's in the water, you can see the, the blade action. Creating some vibration for the cats to find it a little bit better. That's pretty much what it's gonna look like as it's sitting on the bottom. It's just up off the bottom. Now this, this bait only works when it's current, but if there is no current, drag the bait behind with the trolling motor too if you're like in a lake. You can drag it as long as that blade is spinning, feeling vibration. Just another way to attract the cats. I'm sitting in about 19 foot of water on a back eddy. If you notice out, out further in the river here, you'll see the water moving downstream but there's an underwater dike that's kind of creating a back eddy here. If you notice, we're, we're actually anchored backwards because the water's moving upriver, actually. But what you want to do is just drop this rig right behind your boat and let it sink until it hits the bottom. There we go. Lift it up and down a couple times to make sure you can feel that blade spinning so it's not tangled. Set it in the rod holder and hold on. And he's a good one, he's moving up river. He ain't a bad What do you do when you forget a net? Not too bad of a fish. Pretty nice one. This is the type of fish you can catch on those blade baits. Give it a try next time you're out. For more information, visit my website, discovercatfishing.com. See ya.